Hey, I'm uh, Evan Haley. I'm the lead tester for N9 Games, and today I'm going to be reacting to a speedrun of the early access version of Sons of the Forest. And we're going to see where he starts out, where he heads, just uh, how he gets through some of the certain sequences you have to meet certain conditions for. And okay, let's see. It looks like he's spawning at Snow Crash. Yeah, here it is. You can kind of tell in the first helicopter crash sequence. All right. Yeah, this uh, animation, when you've seen it a lot of times, I'm sure speedrunners have the same issue. Um, feels like it takes forever. But if it's the first time seeing it, it's a nice little, nice little touch. All right. So, okay. Ah, yes. So he's going to go probably up the mountain. Yeah, so this looks like it was from before we had slope limits on the terrain. So, yeah, he's running straight up. I don't think in the latest you're going to be able to do this. You're going to start sliding probably about here. But uh, early on in the EA release, this was a pretty easy thing. You could basically just mountain goat your way up whatever you wanted. Skyrim horse style. Um, so it looks like he's going to probably head straight for the one of the final bunkers. I don't think he's going to do anything with the other caves or anything like that. But the stamina regen. So he didn't pick up anything. So I'm curious what he's going to do. Uh, if he didn't pick up any meds or any health items, he's probably got some plan to just completely circumnavigate any enemies or circumvent enemies sorry oh yeah some sun coming through there I'll bug people about that later <laughs> I think that one's fixed actually let's see okay yeah so judging by his direction I think he's going straight for the luxury bunker which is like one of the the end game areas so you won't be able to do this in latest i don't believe so like our 1.0 release uh there is an extra step added to access this bunker and I, unless he has some clever way of getting through the collision let's see where he goes here so he's going straight over the mountain uh he okay there he is he's picking up some sticks okay i think i know what his strategy for getting around doors is going to be then seeing him take those yeah so i think i i have a a guess at what he's going to be doing here oh glider okay so yeah this is i was wondering like this felt like it was going to be a long run but he must have known that glider spawn was there so he's significantly speeding up his trip now we actually, uh, in 1.0, we ended up adding a lot more gliders in different areas that felt like they should have them. Uh, as we were playing, we would get to this nice, amazing vista and then look off and be like, oh, it'd be awesome to glide off this. So we really did a big pass on making sure the map feels more filled out and dense. And you're going to see a lot more as you're flying through the island and running through whichever kind of me method of transport you feel like taking. And... Okay, yeah, so it looks like he is headed pretty much straight to the end bunker. I do find gliding one of the most satisfying methods of transport, although the golf cart's pretty fun too. All right, yeah, he's coming in for a landing. Yeah, okay, so how is he going to get... Okay, getting his trusty stick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was... As soon as he picked up the sticks, I was like, okay, he's going to be using the fence. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he's mastered the art of fence clipping. I We fixed a bunch of these kind of strategies for fence placement. I don't think he'll be able to do this anymore. So I'm going to be really curious to see how people uh, get through some of this in 1.0. I'm really excited to see just how this changes as the new version comes out. Okay, he's going, yep, straight through, okay. Wow, he's getting, he's really good at that. <laughs> uh, early on, like when we found out the stick placement uh, glitch like that, it 
took a while to get the exact like timing and everything set, but he's got it down. All speedrunners are always great at that. They just hone in on one specific like tech or strategy and get it perfect. And then the amount of time I'm wondering he took like practicing that. And I'm, I'm pretty curious to know. Okay. So he doesn't, he hasn't even opened his inventory, so he doesn't have like his lighter, which makes sense why it's so dark. You must probably know this cave like the back of his hand by now. I can. I wonder how many times he accidentally fell on lava going through here. I do it just testing sometimes. Oh, he's getting through the crouch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that stick stick strategy is very powerful. So he like swings and then tries to place it. it must be something that. My guess is he's like colliding with his own stick or something wacky. All right. Uh, so this hell cave is actually looking a ton better in latest. Uh, we did a whole, you know, set dressing pass, effects pass. It looks so much more immersive, so much more like a real setting. Uh, I'm excited for people to see just how much better it looks now with layout and effects, sounds. It sounds pretty quiet in this build. And yeah, so he's pretty much able to get around the enemies. Uh, I think there weren't as many in this build as there was, as it now. Uh, but it also, this whole sequence has changed quite a bit. Um, there are most likely going to be, judging by the build he's running, parts of the game that just aren't in yet. So we're going to have to see just how uh, how things go here. Yeah, no, I think this is before some certain boss encounters and fights. So it's by default going to have at least a couple more minutes added on to the speed run, even if people have some clever strategies. Yeah, he... Uh, can't exactly glide through this section, so the running is probably this, his main slowdown through here. I'm surprised he didn't find a way to, you know, oh, I guess he would have died to fall damage if he tried to clip through and drop down, so makes sense he couldn't do that. So he is running sideways a lot. I'm curious how much... Oh, yeah, there he goes. Curious how much that actively helps because there is like a different animation for the different ways you're running maybe it's slightly faster he doesn't use jumps which i think is probably smart um it doesn't really affect your forward movement speed it helps if you're going up something but by jumping you're also burning your stamina which is probably more efficient to use for sprinting in this so yeah, in this section, he... Okay, let's see. Yeah, so this section has a whole new encounter that he's pretty much skipping. Uh, this is, must have been a version before it. Um, yeah, this whole section is actually completely revamped. There's a bunch of new sequences you have to run through. There's at least two big fights. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is an early version. Um, this is a pretty good speedrun. He got that stick teleportation down pretty good uh but yeah so there's an encounter that you have to basically fight off a boss for you that last section that last corridor and then there's another whole section after this cutscene so um that's going to be completely changed i think for 1.0 i'm really curious to see how the speedrun strats evolve with this um, this looks like he's got it pretty much down to a science. I want to see if he can figure out a new stick glitch or something in latest, but yeah, that was a, a pretty good speed run. <laughs>